this is Stacey Hall from StaceyHall.com. Do you ever get the I don't have time objection when you present your opportunity to a prospect? If that's an issue that keeps popping up for you, there are some really great ways to completely obliterate that objection, so stick around. Before I share those tips with you, I just want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Somewhere around this video, there will be a spot for you to do exactly that because each and every week I put out a training designed specifically to help you build your business online. If we've never met before, again, my name is Stacy Hall from StacyHall.com, and my mission is to simplify online marketing and make it fun for entrepreneurs to increase their confidence, influence, and results. If that sounds good, you're in the right place. So you've presented your opportunity to a prospect, and they're actually really open and interested in what you have to offer, but they hit you with the, mm, I love it, but I just don't have the time objection. So there's a number of ways that you can deal with this, but what typically is the most effective is to just call the elephant out in the room. So here are a couple examples, a couple of examples that work really well. Somebody says, I don't have the time. And you simply say, wow, if you really don't have the time, there's a good chance you might need this even more than I thought. Why does that work? Well, because it gets the person thinking about the fact that they really don't have any time and how do they feel about that? Is that really the kind of life that they want to live? Do they want to constantly be struggling to find time to do the things they love? Probably not. So if time is really a factor, then they really do need something to help them alleviate that stress. And if it's just an excuse, it kind of calls it out. So that's example one. Here's the second example of how you might handle this objection. Wow, well, I love this, but I really don't have the time. I know, that's exactly why I thought of you. Because there's so many people in my company who are working full time and then some, and they're managing to make this work in, a, in the nooks and crannies of their day. So I thought it might be a perfect fit for you too. That strategy works really well if it's a prospect that you know, if it's a warm market, because then you're aware that they're a really busy person and you're presenting this as, this is the solution to that problem. That's why I thought of you in the first place. That's example two. Example three is, again, they say, I love it, but I don't have the time. You respond with, well, if that really is an issue for you and I was, if I was in your situation, I would find a way to address that problem. Now, my thing might not be a fit for you, but I would find something that enables you to create some residual income so you can take the pressure off. Nobody wants to work their whole life. That's example three. They're all similar, they're variations, and I kind of have taken things that I've learned from a couple of different mentors, including Ray Higdon, and turned it into something that is more natural for me to say. And I encourage you to do the same. You never want to completely kind of copy something verbatim because it sounds very scripted and very unnatural and it's just weird. So you always want to make sure that you make it your own. I hope that was valuable. I hope that helps you to deal with this objection next time you face it. If you would like to help someone out by sharing this, by all means, please do so. Before you go, question of the day. Have you ever gotten this objection and how did you deal with it? Let us know in the comments below so we can keep the conversation going. If you're not currently on my blog, make sure you head on over to stacyhall.com. I've got a ton of free training available for you there. Keep your eyes peeled because I will be running a brand new online challenge to help you master attraction marketing and get more sales signups and celebrity status in 10 days, okay? And if you wanna take part in my next challenge, you wanna make sure you keep your ear to the ground and keep yourself around the campfire so you know when that's going to happen. It's been great hanging out with you on this episode. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. In the meantime, go and make your mark, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.